Allez, avancez Find a seat where you can. Little Mother will soon begin. The dark waters covered me. Then his holy light came and oh! The glory of his brightness. You will recall the miracle of Saint Orinus, how he raised the burn girl back to life. As a child, I too was burned and near to death. At his altar, the saint appeared, touched me, and I was healed. Time could not corrupt the saint's holy body. He touched me so that now, I might touch you. Loki himself could not tell a better story. God Shh. is light. But what have you done in his light? All are turned to their own way and gone astray into darkness. The devil has hold of your thoughts, your hearts, your very bodies. No one is safe, whether you are pauper, king, or queen. Choose this day whom you will serve, for judgment is coming, and with it comes either deliverance or damnation. Let us pray. Have you seen my husband? He should have been back from the ritual by now, shouldn't he? You're troubled. It's my husband. He went for deliverance and hasn't come back. It's been days. Oh, it's all my fault. Tell me about deliverance. My husband was going to leave me, but he loves me. The devil got into him somehow. We sent him to Aquila for a deliverance ritual. <laughs> Little Mother said it would rid him of the devil. The rituals happen at Aquila. Yes. Little Mother has a sanctum there. <laughs> oh, my poor husband. Do you think he's okay? I think you should prepare for the worst and pray to your God for the best. <gasps> Yes, I must pray. I must pray. I should go to Aquila where rituals are being done. Navra should I eat for Gienkirich? Bring a fish to a bronze nugget. What Nessa and Dado? Have a tavern. I should see if anyone there knows where to find little mother. It's painful enough dealing with these zealots, but it's even worse since that nun got her fancy prisoner. Shh. We are not supposed to talk about it. Do you not fear God? Dios ti don't keep on me.
I'm off. Be well, friend. Vieni rentre. Tavern keep. I'm new here. Can you tell me about little mother? Oh, her deliverance rituals are all these drunkards talk about. Isn't that right, Bastien? You loudmouth shot. <laughs> Take a seat, Narsoner. Bastien's buying, and he'll tell you all about it. Right, Bastien? That's me, all right. Bastien's a loudmouth. Bastien's a drunk. And let's not forget, Bastien's a drink buyer. Hey, barkeep? Sit down, northerner. I'll buy you a drink, too. Really? You have well, us well. at an advantage, northerner. Where do you hail from? I just got in from Milan. Milan? You're not one of Siegfried's, are you? I'm just passing through, friend. Do not go through Aquila! That's where they take the poor fools for deliverance! They might take you too! <laughs> tell me about Little Mother and her deliverance rituals. I can tell you it's a lot of extra work for us! Since she got her special prisoner, it's worse. Shh! Bastia! We can't speak of God's business. A special prisoner? Someone close to the king, they say. A woman, no less. Mon dieu, Bastien! Ah, but we cannot speak of that, lest God hears us. Drink up, my friends! Bastien is buying! Little mothers just won't let us rest. We are working day and night. I will get you out of there. No! Leave me alone! I have to pray, so my deliverance will come! Go away! There is some mother plans to put the Queen through a deliverance ritual. Mentions an underground chamber beneath the crypt in Aquila. I need to find that crypt. Pierce Molvis, 
Jetzt ist Lord Chris, kommst drei Rad. Na ja, du rein um der Mienze Rogers Charger. People say little mother is fanatical. But the truth is she helped me turn my life around. Me too, brother. She was the only one who ever told me the hard truth. I could not deny it. Something is wrong. Foul. Curse it. I should be cautious around here.
Mint no ser Marquês, eu espero. Sempre esse cuidado. Se um precisa lhe dar um selos, dá o seu próprio. Stretch your wings, Sunan. Let's see. Go, Sunan.
has been slain. Rest well, stranger.
the easier it will be to find the queen.
have lost my family, my future, and now the key to the crypt as well. The only thing I have left is wine. So, salty. Keep your voice down. We made enough trouble tonight. If the captain finds you drinking, you're done. And if he finds out we've lost, we're both done. Keep quiet and help me do it. There's a smell of blood amongst the dust. There's a smell of blood amongst the dust. And a taste of iron on my tongue. A Christian sarcophagus. Most are ancient. This one is new. won't hurt her. It isn't right. Oh, you startled me. You are one of the new assistants? Good. That is good. Yes, I have been sent to help. You've picked a bad time. They have the queen in there. It doesn't seem right. I... I don't think I can do it. I will. Tell me what to do. Really? Okay. Little Mother needs her knife dipped in sacrificial blood. It is on the table. Then, you must take it to her. All right. I'll prepare the knife and take it to Little Mother. You stay here. The knife is well made. But the edge is dull. It would not cut easily. I need to dip it in the blood. seems to come at a high price. The knife is covered with the blood. I can use it to get close to Little Mother while keeping the Queen safe.
If I attack openly, they could kill the Queen. I need to find a way to get close to her without raising suspicion. Please, get me out of here! They will kill me! Please, get me out of here! They will kill me!
When my assistant returns with my knife, your deliverance will be hey. You should... God damn you! Please, get me out of here. Before we're discovered. Oh, thank God. I could not take any more. I was going to leave my wife. Now she is the only person I want to see. What was that? Guards, check the cage. I should not be seen. We have explained the cupcell. The cage is open. Huh? Where is my assistant? Check the cage! I cannot begin without my knife. Find the prisoner. When my assistant returns with my knife, your deliverance will begin. You should know, your majesty. Ah, here is my assistant with my knife. We can begin. I am little mother, touched by Saint Orinus, chosen by God. You are just another royal broodmare, mated to a king she doesn't love. In your bitterness, you turn him against God. You see, your majesty, you can hide nothing from a true servant of God. God himself knows I do not try. That is a lie. You speak for the devil now, do you know that? But we will cut him right out of you. Then we will get to the truth, you and God and I. Put your faith in that. Assistant, my knife. She had to die. She was not always like this, and too young for such bitterness. Your methods are uncompromising, but your coming was God's doing. You are a northerner, aren't you? I am Eivor of the Raven Clan, and I am not here because of any god. I am here because your husband, the King, sent me. Charles sent you for me? There's no time. We have to find a way out before we are discovered. I know a way. Follow me. I did not thank you for rescuing me. It was a brave thing to do. It was not bravery. I'm only here because I have an agreement with Charles to return you to him. Rats. 
The plague brought them. The vermin have no shortage of food here. for now. We are blocked in. The wall is weak. I have been used by God today, do not doubt it. But I have to go now. There is somewhere I must be. It was not your God who freed you, it was me. And I did it only to return you to your husband. That is where we are going. You think because you did something it was not God? God used a donkey once. He can use anyone, even you. Nevertheless, I'm taking you to Charles. It is not to me Charles wants. I can trust you. I know it. I perceive God working something strange through you. I will show you what Charles seeks. You could be trying to deceive me. Yes, I suppose I could. But I am not. Do you really not see the strangeness in all this? That it must be God. I see only that your God makes it so you can never be wrong. <laughs> I like you, Eva. I can see why God chose you. And why we should be friends. We will go together.
mean to bargain with your husband, the king. But he is a complicated man. You are being diplomatic. Charles was not always as he is now. When he was a boy, he fell into fits of madness. His keepers believed him possessed and put him through a ritual. His conversion afterwards was sincere, though he gained a terrible fear of fire. When we met, he was honorable and pious. You sound proud of Charles. You loved him. Do I? Yes, in a way. But we have never been a normal husband and wife in private. Does he not love you? It is not him. I could never be what he needed. But he is a man and found solace elsewhere. Often. The nun, little mother, was going to kill you. Perhaps. Her deliverance rituals were brutal and cruel. Few survived. Euphrasia belonged to a secret group that believes Francia has fallen into apostasy. She thought me possessed. The Bishop Engelwyn was part of this group, I think. You know of Engelwyn? Yes. They call themselves Bella Torres Dei. God's warriors. And there are more of them. We have arrived. There is Bernard. You've brought me all this way to see a child? Yes. Charles has a son. Little bear. Richardis! You're safe! God protects me. Never doubt that, child. Bernard? This is Eivor. A friend. Go now and wash yourself. You've got more color on your shirt than on the canvas. He paints beautifully for a child, don't you think? He's better than many I've seen. Did you teach him? I do not have that gift. He got the ability from his mother, I think. Bernard is not your son. How could he be? Yet I love him as if he was. As I said, Charles and I were never that way. But he is a man and a king. Naturally, he found other places to satisfy his appetites. From that came Bernard. You're hiding the boy from his father. Charles wants Bernard to succeed him to the throne. And Bernard wants nothing else but to please his father. That is why I must keep Bernard from him. He will lead the child down a dark path. One not meant for a good king. My agreement with Charles was only to return with you. The child need not be involved. And I will not let him be. Bernard knows to find a church if he needs help and I am not there. I must leave again for a while. When I return, I want to hear your Latin verbs. I know you're going to see father without me. I'm not stupid, you know. By keeping Bernard from Charles, you hope to prevent him becoming king. You misunderstand me, Eivor. Bernard must assume the throne for the good of Francia. You see what Charles has become. Bernard is young, but will make a good ruler. One that will be more sympathetic to your people, also. If Charles wants the child, he will not be pleased to see you without him. I hope that is not true. Charles knows the Bella Torres took me. He would be concerned. We have not been on good terms lately. But he sent you to free me. Perhaps he wishes to be reconciled.
C'est pour you, attend this, idiots. That bear is wounded. Wait. If it is wounded, it is dangerous. It is all right. Shh. Oh, what have you done to yourself? There. God is with you. Be more careful now. Off you go. They are noble animals. She had given up. She is all right. Are all bears so tame in Frankia? All of God's beasts respond to love, Eva. Even more so when they are hurt. In that, they are not so different to people. You have the gift with beasts. But you're speaking of Charles now. You think the same is true even of him? Especially of him. We are here. Charles Kemp. I fulfilled our agreement. Here's your wife, the Queen. She is unharmed. Charles. My dear wife. Finally, you appear before me. You must want for refreshment after your long and complicated journey. You are still angry. It is for nothing, Charles. I have been as faithful to you as I have been to God. I am sorry for taking Bernard, but... Ah, yes, my son. I thought by finding you, I would find him. But I do not see him. Where is Bernard? Safe. Do you remember the night we met? I've never forgotten it. The sky was clear and awash with thousands of stars. The night of our wedding, it was the same. I took it as a sign from God. I knew you and I were meant to be. You were in white, all purity and grace. I thought, tonight? I am not the prince. I am the luckiest man alive. How lucky to take a wife who fell so easily into another's bed. You did not take me as your man, but as your fool. Charles, no. To our marriage. We had a deal. Do not be concerned about Bernard de Chardis. He is my son. Without your interference, he will find me. And you, Northern Devil, who presumes to sit at a negotiating table with a Frankish king. Here is your deal. You lied to me. I did not lie, Diable. I said God would make it so. So he has. I will take care of you. Stay here. Let's end it quickly.
going to crush you, coward! Kings, always saying what they do not mean to get what they do not say they want. I failed to mention everything about Charles. I'm sorry. The truth is awkward and I did not see the need. He believes you to be unfaithful. There is no end to his accusations. I hoped he had come to himself. Do you think he really meant to kill us? Yes. Now Paris will fall. Charles has made certain of that. Siegfried was right. Don't despise Charles. Like that bear, he may yet recover with God's help and become your ally. I do not share your faith in your god or your husband. But you carry both with a rare honor. Thank you. That is a high compliment. For my part, I don't think God has finished with you yet. We were meant to meet. Now, I must find Bernard. We will go to the Paris slums and aid the sick. Charles will not look for us there. I must go meet Siegfried at the forward camp in Paris. I have a seat to prepare, and pride to swallow. God exalts the humble, Eivor of Ravenclan. You will see. Farewell for now. <laughs>